up, what are you nerd against? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerd Against Inc. Today's manga nerd again live reaction video is going to be for Kangan Omega chapter 252. But before we get into this recap and live reaction, we are at war with YouTube's algorithm and it is slowly but surely killing my channel. And in order to defeat this algorithmic beast, we need you to please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my adorable Will Bubba Kitty right here, and this operation literally alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash Up and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So, oh my god. <laughs> Last time we covered Kegan Omega, we had Shem Long's assessment of Oma and Koga. Oma, he's like, dude, there's nothing I can really teach you. All you gotta do at this point is, you know, reassess your, um, your techniques, maybe tweak them here and there, and you're good. Koga, on the other hand, he's like, dude, you need to work out. And Choji, <laughs> Choji, aka the most dangerous man in Japan at this point, which I have to agree. <laughs> Choji so much. <laughs> he adds on to this and is like, dude, Koga, you gotta be able to walk and chew gum at the same time. <laughs> this bromance man is everything. But I think what makes the whole thing even better is um, Katahara and uh, Inumitsu's reaction to the whole, the whole thing. They're like, dude, that drinking party sounds fun. You should have invited us. <laughs> Everything for real. I would have loved to see them at this at the whole thing. That would have been so epic, seriously. But then we have the final thing. Um, of course, besides being right, I partially being right because remember back when, um, uh, oh my god, back when uh Kuroki was fighting um Shim Long, we thought that he was going to at least train Oma and Ryuki, we thought we was going to train both of them. But we were partially right because um, Kuroki is training Oma, so I'm very, very happy with that. But there is one little twist here, and I didn't think about this either until it was brought up, was that um, that Ryuki being the successor to the Long Clan um, secret technique. So we'll see what's going to be going down with that. Let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. And this chapter is titled Connected. Okay, so we're seeing Namnat um, spar with uh, Leonardo Silva. Ooh, this is going to be good. Okay. Well, 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 look who's got their tail tucked between their legs, puppy of Brazil. <laughs> the taunting. Also, Jeremy on, this art looks amazing. I'm sad that he's not, it's, it's weird. Jeremy on's not um, streaming as much on YouTube as, he, um, as much as he used to. I'm kind of saddened by that. Oh, shut the hell up. How about I throw you back to the noise? <laughs> I'm just like, God, you know it. Phew, I'm exhausted. This heat is simply a curse. I'm getting um, a body by this weather. Um, yeah, but this is nice every once in a while. Um, we're out here for a training camp. It's like we're back in school. If only Koga and Ryuki could have joined us. I bought some fireworks. Why don't we set them off tonight? That... <laughs> Speaking of, hey, long time no see. Good to see you're still alive, Koga! Oh my god, Koga's friend, uh, we're back home. Uh, but sorry, Kosuke. Hey, Kosuke, thanks for picking us up. This is um, Ryuki. He's the guy I was telling you about over the phone. Hi. Nice to meet you, Ryuki. Thanks for being Koga's friend. He's not exactly a people person, you see. Shut up, asshole. I've grown since I left. Hey, what's with the gift? Did you graduate from university already? No. <laughs> no, I got excited. You left. Right now, I'm, well, let's say I'm an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur, my ass. You're doing something shady, I bet. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> Here, um, let me take you home. Um, well, I gotta go now. I got another appointment to get to. Um, you're gonna get, you're gonna be here for a while, right? You gotta tell me all about the Kenyan Association. Sure, I'll buy you dinner at least. Thank you. See you soon. Sorry seems nice. It's becoming more of a crook every time I see him. Okay, why don't we take um, our things to the room and get going? Sure. Hmm. Damn, so this is my house. It's huge. 
I didn't know your family was rich. No, we just go back a ways. Uh, my ancestors... Uh, no way. My ancestors were samurai and they used to live here, but nobody's lived here since my grandpa died. My uncle's got um, one of his friends keeping up the place now. Of course, of course it's jo Dude, a Joji Man, I swear. I didn't know your Uncle Joji has friends here too. Yeah, they train uh, together at uh, Rokushin Kaiken. Jesus Christ, Joji Man. Joji is like the most dangerous man in Japan is right, seriously. Whoa, this place is spotless. Thank, uh, thank you, Uncle Joji's friend. Oh my god, a dojo? I guess it's not a samurai mansion for nothing. My ancestors were probably into martial arts. Yeah, I think so. I like it. Let's get started. Hey, are you sure you want to do this? Isn't that like, uh, it's okay, Koga. I gotta get stronger and I'll do anything to get stronger. <gasps> He's gonna do it! Let's, uh, turn Galvakaku's legacy into our power. No, no. Oh my god. No way Koga's gonna learn. No, no. I, I don't know how to feel about that. Ryuki's one thing, but... Oh god, I am torn about how I feel about Koga learning this. I will say this, though. I like... <laughs> I'm torn. Yeah, I'm torn on this. I am. Because Koga, like, already somewhat knows the Nico, he knows the Nico style, but Koga hasn't really kind of turned that in, into his own thing. I hope that with this, though, I hope with, I hope with this that Koga can make it his own thing. I really do. I just hope he just doesn't, like, take it and just does nothing with it. And, or, not, just copies it. There we go. Let's turn Galmukaku's legacy into our power. Okay, let's do this. Meanwhile, at the um, the mountain's uh, prefecture unknown, Ferret and Sir Lido, we shall become ninja masters together. God damn it, Takio, get over here already. <laughs> oh, it's the Falcon. <laughs> time you, you you guys know you guys should follow me long enough to know this and one of my favorite characters is the fucking larfer known as the falcon i love him so much i love him oh my god i love that lido is training with the larfer known as the falcon i i gotta read this again <laughs> Lido, we shall become ninja masters together. God damn it, Takeda, get over here already. Oh my god. Sandrovich, thank you so much for 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 blessing us with more LARPer content. <laughs> so much. <laughs> Two idiots are playing in the water and Kuroki's out hunting. I love you, Sandrovich. Oh yeah, so oh yeah, so you're taking uh, turns getting food, huh? I'm glad to hear your training's going well. Yeah, we're doing fine over here. Good luck. I, I just, I can't. <laughs> I love the larping. I love the larper so much. Like, I'm gonna say this though. Like, there's, you know, there's dumbass. There's there's different types of larpers. Okay, there's dumbass activist larpers. That are just, that really frustrate me. And then there's LARPers like this that are just entertain. Well, no, dumbass activist LARPers are entertaining in their own right, okay? They are. They're extremely entertaining because of how stupid they are. But they, they do get very frustrating with their stupidity. But this kind of stupidity, like, that we see here, it's entertaining. And it's just, it's funny stupidity. <laughs> I love it, man. <laughs> Mr. Yamashita, I got the data you asked for. I had to analyze every camera in town, though. Here you go. Oh, my God. Oh, thanks a bunch. Let's get to it. What do you need these for, anyway? Hmm, well, I can't say I'm 100% sure, but there's been something nagging at me for a while. Remember what uh, he said when he visited uh, Yamashita Corporation? Jackie, I mean, Mr. Wulong, can I ask you a question? Why are you helping us out when we're your, uh, we're your enemies? That's a great question! 
It just doesn't make sense to help your enemies get stronger, even as a favor to Narashima. Mm, well, it's true that I'm doing this as a favor for Joe, a uh, favor to Joe, but it's also for my own good. I want to have a fight, a life or death fight against an equal. I've never had that before, and I want to see how it feels. Talk about a <laughs> talk about a first world problem. You know of anyone who can rival you besides me? That is, I could think of one, but it's someone I can't fight as things stand now. Who? Is it Kuroki? But I swear we've seen this before, though. But where? Obviously, there's Goku where he's trying to, you know, fight the strongest. But I swear there's that there's a villain that's like this, though, where they're trying to find someone that. Oh, now I remember who it is. It's an undead unluck. That's who, where I'm thinking of. It's a it's in undead unluck where um we have uh, a character that's trying to fight someone that's trying to be the strongest fighter in the universe or in the universe. Or, well, at least in the world, anyway. But you know what I mean. That's who I was thinking of. But anyways, I couldn't stop thinking about what he said. Can you zoom in enhance right here? I'm on it. Hmm, maybe he means this person's deceased? But if he were deceased, he wouldn't have said as things stand now. I wonder, I wonder, I can't help but feel like the answer's right under our noses. I feel like it's Kuroki, but right, right there, can you enhance this? Sure thing. How's this? I don't think I can get it any clearer. Oh, Mr. Yamashita. Oh, no, you're kidding me. But wait, if you think about it that way, it's all connected. What? Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's one other, there's a couple other people that I can think of. There's Kuroki. Yeah, there's Oma, sure. But there's also Ryan to boot. There is Ryan. But, hmm. So, hmm. I think it... I honestly think it's got to be Oma. It, obviously, it is Oma and Ryuki that he's... I think that's who he's referring to. Um, but, or at least, uh, at least Oma. But at the same time, I'm just like thinking, um, but there's someone. Hmm. Who do you guys think he's he's talking about? Do you guys think that maybe um that You know what? I'm just thinking about this. Because just think about Oma and Ryuki's power, all right? So you have Oma, who's the Asura, and then there's Ryuki's uh, power um, with the final Omega. The final Omega, remember when we saw it in the, um, in the first tournament, the tournament against Purgatory, it was light. And Oma's power is darkness, is, is dark, the demon, the Asura. So you have a yin yang, god damn, what is with the yin yang, I swear to god. Yin-Yang motif is just freaking manga Illuminati. I wonder if it has something to do with that. 
I do. I really do. But the other thing, um, I feel like it's, it's, I feel like it is Oma. It's, it could be Ryuki because of the final Omega stuff, but it could be a combination of Oma and Ryuki for other reasons as well. And that's why he wants to, partially wants to um, instill his memories into them. Because that is a possibility. But, hmm. But there's the other, I feel like, part of me is like, there's also Kuroki too. Because Kuroki was close, what did uh, land a hit on him. And then there's also the other factor here. Of Ron I feel like the four the four people, okay, maybe five if we want to include Aguido into the mix. But the four people are, wait a minute. Yeah, the four people that at least I can think of off the top of my head, especially if Shenmue Long did make contact with Ryan, Ryan would definitely be one of them. And Ryan is still MIA training out in the jungle, so there is that factor. You have Ryan, you have uh, Ryuki, you have, um, you have Oma, and then you have Kuroki. Those are the four that I can think of. Kuroki was not there um, when shit went down. So Kuroki is obviously not going to be included in this, um, at least in uh, the photo. But if it's all connected, well, Oma and Ryuki are connected to the connector. So there is that. But what do you guys think about this? What do you guys think he's referring to? What do you think Yamashita's, who do you think Yamashita's referring to? And, uh, I really hope, Koga get, nah, if it's Koga, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. No, it, it's not gonna be Koga. No. But the other thing, though, that I'm just thinking about, too, is there's a reason why Ryuki, um, that, uh, Shenmue Long didn't assess Ryuki. There's gotta be a reason why for that. I feel like that needs to be taken into account. And, um, also with Mukaku's, uh, remember Mukaku's backstory. He, uh, Shenmue, Shenmue Long didn't get, like, that full satisfaction from fighting, um, Mukaku's clan, if, uh, Mukaku's clan, if I remember correctly. So... I just feel like all that needs to be taken into account. Between Ryuki being the final Omega, um, the, um, the power that he's inheriting from Mukaku, all that. I feel like it's Ryuki he's specifically referring to, or it is a common, or it is Oma and Ryuki, but I feel like it's specifically Ryuki. I do, because um, I'm going to go back to what he said. I want to have a fight, a life or death fight against an equal. I've never had that before, and I want to see how it feels. Um, talk about first world problem. You know of anyone who can fight, uh, rival you besides me, that is. I could think of one, but it's someone I can't fight as things stand now. I just, the first person that just comes to mind for me, well, obviously I said Ryan earlier, but, <laughs> but after that, obviously, you know, people will think, oh, Oma, but I just think, I just keep thinking about, I keep thinking about that fight against, against Ryan in the uh, Purgatory Tournament. And also the fact that he's called the final... It's gotta be Ryuki. It's gotta be Ryuki he's referring to. It has to be. It has to be Ryuki. Because Ryuki is not ready. He's not. But based on what we've seen, and based on what... um. Uh, Shemu Long is talking about here. I, it's got to be Ryuki he's talking about. He's got to be talking about Ryuki. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What you guys think. Um, 
about the, about who he's referring to. It can't be. It can't be. Co it's not Koga. No, 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 no. If it was Koga, I would hate this manga. Oh, um, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And um, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc. Love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more uh, Kengen content. A few ways you can do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.